Hi there! Welcome back to Spyro! Last time we arrived in a Beast Keeper's world and complete... Um... Well, a couple of worlds and... We're gonna try to hit... We're gonna try to tree trap today. You know, the tree tops. You know, the stage that's infamous among the Spyro fandom for the supercharge that you have to do to get to all the areas. Yeah, I don't know if I should try it though. I heard it's harder in this version for some reason than in the original. Oh boy. Oh boy, Treetops is gonna kill me, isn't it? First, hashtag first book problems. It's gonna result in a game over, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. <laughs> All I have to do is get good. All I have to do is breathe, relax, and get good. I'm totally relaxed, guys. Yeah, you remember these guys. Not hard to take down at all. Yeah, you remember me dying to all these boars before. Watch me get good. Yes, I got good. Now, which way was the treetops again? That way. Hey, Jim. I'll take that. It's fine now. Hurry, chickens. Let's head into the treetops. Oh boy. This is the infamous stage that everybody's... This is the infamous stage from Spyro 1. I don't know if I'll be able to do the supercharge thing, because you have to go down all the ramps while supercharging. I don't think I'll be able to do it. And if you don't see it, you don't be disappointed, okay? Oh boy. Huh? Weren't these guys like tribesmen before? Yeah, they got the super stretchy legs. Hit them before they hit me. Yeah, these guys are throwing bananas at me. I'm gonna fail. There's a chest that requires a key that's hidden somewhere. Oh boy. Now, let's breathe, relax, and take it nice and easy, okay? I'm sure this stage isn't that hard. I say as I die a million times trying to do the supercharge thing. If you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over. Yep, and if you miss, you can die very quickly. Oh, I didn't get the chest. How disappointing. Pretty sure these guys weren't monkeys before they were tribesmen. Anyway, they got super stretchy legs that they'll try to hit you with. Oh boy. Well, um, no time like the present, huh? 
I died. I saw that coming. Yep, that's my fault. I didn't press jump in time. Oh boy. Already off to a fantastic start of this. Mm. Oh boy. I died again. Yep, this is this is my life now. I'm dying constantly. <laughs> I just have to breathe, relax, and Really? That wasn't all. Camera. Got it. Got it that time. I want to get hit by those legs. Alright. Attempt number three. Oh my. I'm starting to feel like this is an... Should I even try? Should I even try to do the thing? I should even try. As they say, trying is the first step towards failure. Hey, look, what's this? Secret? Hit by the bananas. I managed to get past those guys. Oh, you are not hitting me again with those bananas. Oh, extra life. Thankful. Thank you. Everybody sing praise to Cthulhu. We just found, we found, we found an extra life. Whatever you do, don't fall off. I made it. And I found another dragon. Hey there. Hey, Spyro, for an amazing tour to treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. Huh. Oh boy. Yeah, something tells me I'm gonna be trash at it. I'm already pretty trash at this game. So you uh, shouldn't expect too much from me. I'm gonna grab these gems. Because I need them. Alright. Supercharge, let's go. Extra life, thank you. I need that. Just 
chicken, I'll take that. More chests. I'll take those. There's more up ahead. Don't fail to make the jump. Pro tip, but don't fail to make the jump. Oh boy. Now, let's think about this carefully. Alright. There we go. Gotcha. Hey, an extra life. I'll pick that. Mine. Oh, there's more stuff to do. Alright. Breathe, relax, and... Glide, glide, glide. Um... I think I'm done here. I don't want to even attempt to do the one thing that's gonna be really, really hard. Sorry guys, I can't do it. Well, I... I'm sorry. Well, that was treetops. You can see why that's hard. I'm pretty sure one of these wells contain a secret. Gym. Gotcha. That was weird. Oh boy. Elms of the water there. Alright. Now what do we do now? I'm pretty sure there was a secret in one. All right, let's see if we can't get past these guys. Take that. This is Metalhead's portal. And with a, let's go into the boss room. It's probably the secret flight stage that's in that one well. I got one gem. Confronting Metalhead. Let's see how this goes. Now I remember this dude is kind of a, a some sort of cyborg of some sort. 
And there are also those tribesmen from before that have now turned into monkeys. Whoa. Ouch. You're not hitting me, bud. Gems the better. Yeah, those banana tribesmen from before are wearing and now got armor on them. They're not gonna be as easy to take out. for those long stretchy legs. What? Oh yeah, there's an enemy right over here. Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. So I guess, so destroy the power poles, okay, gotcha. into them when they're red. He's using them tribesmen to attack me. He's running away. I guess in the end I was just too much for Metalhead. Yep, he's got a super metal name though. Right. Now watch out. It's all about being careful. Yikes! Oh boy. He collapsed. 
Huh, that wasn't so hard. That was pretty easy. Hmm. All I gotta do is be patient with that one. Secret? Take those gems. All right. There we go. That's how you do it. Now, let's get out of here. Turning the Beastmakers. Oh, I feel much better. Jump in the balloon. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's go to Dreamweavers. That sounds like a fun place. Spoiler alert, it's not a fun place. It's actually very challenging. Dreamweavers, the next world. It's a very weird place from what I remember. I also remember there's gestures that you turn on the clocks and you can have different effects. Like there's one area in it that has a light and dark effect. We have to light, we have to hit the gestures to be able to defeat some of the enemies, or otherwise they're invulnerable. Anyway, let's head off. I also remember there being anti-cupids. Like, devil cupids, for some reason. Alright. There appears to be magic at work here. Some of the enemies are... The enemies in this world are very strange. Dark Passage? Can't hurt him. Yeah, when those guys are big, you can't hurt them. Because they're big and armored. Which means they're invulnerable. Uh, this place is most strange. I rather like it. those guys. Jack Keys! Oh yeah, I remember Jack Keys. He's a jack in he's a jack in the box. I'm tired of renting balloon. Come see me again when you recover. Six thousand stolen treasure, got it. So I have to collect as many gems as possible. That up there is the source of my ills. Ouch. Very silly enemies, but really hard hitting.
Gotta make the enemies vulnerable. There should be the way to clear these guys out. Yeah, that should do it. No, no, no. Don't do that. Another dragon freed. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. Damn straight, son. Damn straight, Spyro. And torch him we shall. town, huh? Looks interesting. Oh yeah, those are those jet- that's that jester I was telling you about. Another dragon. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. He's talking about these guys. Yep, I think their enemy name is. on the water. Red gym. Now, um... Hey, red gems. I'll take those. I need as many as I can. Now, what do you say we check out the area where those guys were? This is weird. Good job, buddy. Gotcha. Fools. Good job. The flight stage. Ouch.
Pro tip, don't get hit. Mushrooms. Oh boy. Everything's all wacky here. It's like some sort of surreal dream of some sort. Lofty Castle. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Thank you, Cryptic. Cryptic Riddle Dragon. I kind of got the idea of that already. <laughs> Whatever that is supposed to mean. Hmm. Anyway, um, I'm gonna stop here. Or should I keep going? No, I'm gonna stop here. Thank you for your time and patience. Whew, play games and have fun, okay?